Hello and welcome everybody to your bonus Q&A content. Everyone in this lesson decided to go for prototyping. They obviously want to just find out a bit more about prototyping. So let's get cracking with a um, bit more about prototyping. So the big reason why you should prototype is it allows you to visualize your idea. So rather than having it in the abstract all contained in your head, you're able to get it out there on a device and design the layout and test it out. So a great prototype to use is Pop by Marvel. And I have included the website link. And I have included the website link at the bottom of this slide. So hold on until we get there. So it is available for iOS and Android pretty much. Either draw out your interface and um, use Excel if you wish. I've seen people use Excel. You could also use Word just to drive boxes that represent your interface. You know, button here, um, text view here, and image here. Just very rough if you want. So there's a huge amount of benefits to a prototype. And then what you do is you upload them to your phone. You can access them through pop by marvel and then you set them up as screens so you can put hotspots to bring you to a new screen a new image and um, that you've uploaded to your phone to your device and um, and so on and so it's really very very good to simulate your app idea so there are a lot of benefits to pro prototype first of all it gives you clear breakdown of components so at a very uh, abstract level it shows you all the screens that you need how many pages you do need in your app and then it breaks it down even further how many buttons do you need in your app how many lists do you need in your app how many um images do you need in your app how many text views do you need a search bar everything like that it breaks down the components so that when you are coding up your app and implementing it you know what components are required in your user interface rather than again coming to a crossroads and not knowing where to go, spending time and effort figuring out which way to go, designing the layout, visualizing your idea at the very start. It's very brilliant because again gives you the smoothest path to development. It's cost effective as well. It's very cost effective to do a prototype early on. It could only take a week less to get a nice working prototype up and running user interactions are defined so this is quite important you're communicating ideas visually to actual users who the app is intended for they can test out your prototype you can test out any early design flaws to see if there are any design flaws um, and see how your testers feel about the app are they able to navigate through the app with ease even with the prototype they're able to navigate through it and um, is there too many complexities in specific areas of your app so it's very much testing out the user flow testing out user interactions that are defined and again you can use those uh, interactions when you're implementing your app you know what user interactions are going to be in your app they're previously defined in your prototype and again it's just coding that up as opposed to making those decisions there and then when you have your coding software up in front of you and it allows you to track real world behavior pop as i said you're able to download your phone as an app access images which could be a uh, user interface layouts that you've um, created yourself and uploaded to your device add them into uh, a prototype in pop by marvel and then start laying out hot spots and um, that maybe simulate button presses screen swipes things like that and so that you could give it to a user and have them just clicking on your roughly laid out user interface it doesn't have to be hugely detailed again boxes are fine just to represent what is going on screen and you can download it at this uh, website so https forward slash marvel app dot com forward slash pop so it is hugely hugely beneficial to go out and test with a prototype and even a rough prototype can really give you um, a clear breakdown of the components that you're going to be using how the user is going to interact with those components and then see if all that interaction works well if the user flow is okay 
So I hope that's understandable for everyone. And as always, guys, if you do have any questions or anything you would like to ask me, email me at mobile.app at showacademy.com and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So I'll see you back for the next lesson. Um, but until then.